Emma uh, for that introduction and uh, the opportunity to do a welcome introduction for all of you here today to this, let me get this right, Low Carbon Heat Technology Expo. There's quite a few things that I'm going to be trying to say I think this morning that I'm really glad I've had at least one cup of coffee and maybe should have had, and maybe should have had two. I am the head of Low Carbon Transition at Scottish Enterprise and this is a role that I took on over the summer. And it's a really exciting role because it covers two really key areas um, for us in Scotland. It's looking at the decarbonisation of transport, but perhaps a slightly more interest to the audience here today, it's also looking at the decarbonisation of heat. And these are two areas that are going to be really critical for Scotland in achieving their own ambitions. So I am being pleased to know that hope is a lot bit more about heat today as opposed to, as opposed to transport. And I want to look at this from three uh, key questions. I want to look at it from the why, I want to look at it from the who, and I want to look at it from the how. So the first question is why, and more specifically, why green heat? We are also aware of the need to reduce our carbon emissions. We need to reduce and reverse our CO2 emissions. And we really need to put a halt to our rising global surface temperature. Now, how many of you were at Best Fest just a few weeks ago, one right in the other building? Few hands have gone up. Um, if you were there, you would hopefully have seen Chris Stark's presentation, which was just phenomenal as ever. If you weren't there and you haven't seen it, I recommend you go onto the Best YouTube channel and have a look because I think Chris did really good. Uh, a really good presentation in terms of the importance for action right now, but also he specifically highlighted how important it was for us to be decarbonising buildings and decarbonising heat specifically. You can see here on the slide, which you're going to be looking at, I was going to try and point to it, but I can't point to both at the same time. Uh, I'm sure and my arms are quite short uh, to go with it. But heat does account for 52% of Scotland's energy demand and it is the single biggest contributor of our carbon emissions, sitting at around that 21% mark. And it's going to be our biggest challenge in terms of hitting our 2050 targets. But although it's a challenge, it also gives us a real opportunity because we are going to have to decarbonise a million homes and 50,000 non-domestic buildings by 2030. And that's what we as NCM want to be focusing on. How can we support that? Scottish Government um, are fully aware and behind all of this, they're looking to introduce policy and support. And hopefully, many of you will be aware of the heat in buildings strategy. This was where Scottish Government laid out that initial. Are these, these are changed? Yeah. Um, this is where Scottish Government laid out the, the pathway for us to hit our target. So, hopefully, you're aware of the document and its commitment and ambitions. It's looking to increase jobs, but there's also a commitment of £1.8 billion of support in this parliamentary period. Other documents have followed, and those of you who are keeping up to date will be aware of the heat in buildings supply chains delivery plan. <laughs> just don't make these easy, do they? Um, this was just published last Friday by the Scottish Government, and this is a really nice diagram that appears in the document. And I like it because it shows that push and pull of support and policy that's going to be required for us collectively to hit our net zero future. Now there's a couple of projects and programmes on here that you may have heard of and be familiar with, but I am going to talk a little bit more about them uh, in just a few moments. In this uh, slide, there's a couple of pictures of companies you may recognise. The bottom left and right are Starling Nobles and Sunam. I don't know if we've got anyone from here in the audience today, but I believe you are exhibiting. So, I don't think there's anyone here right now. Yeah. Oh, oh. Um, so please do go visit um, and they can tell you a bit more about their products and perhaps their own journey in the green heat world. I didn't want to use this slide though to single out any companies in particular. What I wanted to do was look here at the fact that we do have quite a large industry base in Scotland, but there is real significant scope for growth. And that's what we as SE want to focus on. And not just the domestic market, we want to help companies look at the opportunities both here and abroad, so that we can make the most of this growing market and capture as much as we can for Scotland. 
So why? I think we all know why we eat. But the question is, who? And you're probably already all knowing the answer to this, because who is all of you? It's all of us, and it's the whole system in, in Scotland. This is another diagram from the Heat and Building Supply Chain Delivery Plan. It's getting easier to see that the more you see it, so uh, the practice is good. And the reason I've chosen this diagram is it does show just how diverse the grid of the supply chain actually is. It covers so many different things. Now, we are aware of quite a lot of companies that are in this space, and we've compiled an online directory that you can find at heat.directories.scot. That's heat.directories.scot. So please do go take a look. And if your company's not there, and it should be, it's really easy to be added in. Just click on the Contact Us button. We want to keep expanding this so that we're aware of who's out there in the supply chain. Um, so yeah, do make sure that you go and take a look at that. But it's not just companies alone. We've got a great research community and we've got a number of great uh, centres of excellence and innovation. Now, these aren't the only ones that are in Scotland. I've just picked a few. <coughs> Um, and the ones that are perhaps most pertinent to, to the heat sector. I'm also not going to go through this in much detail, but I did want to single out BEST, of course, how could I not Stephen, I'd have got into trouble with my hand. Um, and most of you will know Stephen and the fabulous team here <coughs> um, I also wanted to talk about PNDC very briefly. PNDC is um, an, an organisation that you may or may not be familiar with, but the great thing is, but Callum from PNDC is here, he's talking in the first session. So if you don't know about them now, you will certainly know about them by the time we break for lunch. And of course, there's another uh, group of organisations that are involved in all of this well, as well. And that's Scottish Government and us as enterprise agencies, because we are here to support. And that's what brings me on to the how. How can we, as Scottish enterprise, support the new community? So there's a range of support available within the Scottish Enterprise to help you grow your business um, and to help uh, in the green heat space. More generally, we provide support to companies across three key pillars for us, innovation, international and investment. So we can help with things like supporting your ambitions in international trade, we can work with you to look through the complexities of, of looking at IP for your innovations, and we can work with you in seeking investment for the growth of your business. But we really wanted to look as well at what support we could specifically give in the green heat space, and that's what I want to talk about in these next few and last few slides of that. So you're all going to be familiar with heat source because you're all at heat source event. So um, I don't think I have to say too much about heat source, but Emma is here, and I'm sure she'll be happy to talk to you a little bit more. But heat source came about because we recognise this is a growing sector and it is very diverse in terms of the breadth and types of companies and organisations that are involved. So what we wanted to do was contract with an organisation who could, um, could we could work with you all and put on events such like these, such as these, and bring the community together. So Best won that contract, and um, is managing a uh, resource on behalf of SE High and SOSI. Now I'm going to come on and talk about the other, uh, the other two on the left in just a moment. Those two programmes you may be familiar with, and you may recognise from an earlier slide where I showed uh, the push and pull diagram from the delivery plan. But before I do, I just want to talk briefly about the Heat Accelerator. This is a three-month programme of activity for very early stage companies and entrepreneurs to help them really grow and scale their business. It's a very new and recent initiative, and we've just gone live with our first cohort of 12 companies. So we're really excited to see how they go on and to see how they find the Green Heat Accelerator programme. And I'm sure they'll give us their very honest feedback. So the Green Heat Hub and the uh, Green Heat Innovation Support Program. So the Heat Hub arose from the, I need to get this right, uh, in fact I should probably just read it, uh, the Heat Pump Sector Deal Expert Advisory Group. I'm certainly glad I had my coffee for that one. Um, again, looking at significant growth of the industry and the opportunity for us to position Scotland as a leading location in Europe 
for low carbon heat manufacturing and a centre of excellence. <clears throat> now with this, we didn't have any preconceived notion and we didn't think we should be trying to dictate what this heat hub should look like. So instead what we've done is we've gone out to you, the community and the ecosystem to see what you think this should be. So we've asked for collaborations across industry, academia and the third sector to come together and come up with a workable solution in terms of what this could actually be. So we've got no master template, we've not got any real idea of what it should look like and we're looking forward to seeing what the community can come up with. Now the closing date for this, or at least for initial proposals, is actually tomorrow. But if you do want to get involved, then do come and speak to some of the team because there could still be opportunities as we progress. Now there are various members of the SE wider heat team colleagues in the audience. I don't know if you want to put your hands up. So there's quite a few people here and we do have an SE stand. So if you've got any questions about this and you want to find it a little bit more, or if you've got difficult <coughs> questions for me, I'll be passing them on to these guys. <laughs> So last, uh, but very much not least, is our Green Heat Innovation Support Programme. So this is our most recent programme of activity, again it's mentioned in the delivery plan, and this was just launched on Monday. It's a £17.6 million support programme for companies in Scotland, and we've been really delighted to be able to work with Scottish Government and colleagues in High and Sosi on this in order to be able to deliver it. Now, We've tried to keep the areas of focus on this quite broad across the supply chain. So it will include areas such as energy efficiency, heat pump manufacturing, digital solutions, storage, and lots of things in between. We've also tried to keep the design quite flexible as well, so that it can look at supporting your individual R&D capital investment needs. It can look at collaborative R&D with European funding, and we're going to be doing some specialist procurement. So the R&D capital and European elements are all live right now and you can apply for your expression of interest in through the Scottish Enterprise website and we are going to be doing some procurement challenges early next year. So keep your eyes open for them. Again, I would really welcome you to come and find out a little bit more from the team on this one because there's lots of ways that this could be supporting businesses and innovation. So speak to the team. Uh, if you want to speak to the guru on this project, it is Jane. Um, go on, Jane, put your hand up. Um, she might be getting a bit inundated, but do speak to Jane um, and the team who can help you a little bit more on this project. So that's all I was going to say today as a bit of an introduction, a bit of a whirlwind through it all. All that we really need from today is to say, enjoy your day, make some great connections, learn lots of stuff, and uh, just have fun. So I'm going to pass you